Hello. We are. Um, I, we have just finished going through the first part of this the, uh, today's videos, but it got a little bit too long. So I uh, just allow you to take a quick break. Um, but it, this week's handout is about patterns, relationships, and representations. Okay. So let's go to where we ended. Um, number patterns working backwards to find missing values. All right, so when we have a formula, we normally follow these steps. So it's n, and then it's times or divide, and then there's a plus or a minus, and then there's an the answer. Um, so this is the order of operation. So it doesn't matter in which order the formula is written, um, the, we will first do the multiply and divide, and then we will do plus and minus. Okay. So, but now sometimes we have an answer, but we don't know with what number we start. So then we work backwards. So we start with the answer. Then we first do the plus or minus part. The opposite of plus is minus, and the opposite of minus is plus. Remember that from grade 9. Then we will divide or multiply. So the opposite of multiplying is divide, and the opposite of divide is multiply. And then we get the amount. Okay, so note we follow the opposite or the order of the order of operation. So we first plus, and then we multiply. Okay, because we are working backwards. The school hires a 60-seater bus for the day and it costs them 10,000 rand. The company says that they uh, can travel a maximum of 2,000 kilometers. It doesn't matter how far they travel as long as it is less than 2,000 kilometers or how many learners there are on the bus, um, it, the price will stay 10,000 rand. Okay, so the number of children, 10,000. Okay, so find the A. Um, any number between naught and 60 because it doesn't matter the number what the number is the amount will stay 10,000 rand okay so that was fairly easy right but now it costs 12 rand to fill the car with one liter of petrol remember the other video uh, we drew the graph but now we have that the amount is 432 rand but we do not know what the amount of petrol is so the formula is 12 times b so if we take the cost and we divide by 12, we can get the amount of liters. Okay, so the formula is 12 times B, so the amount of liter is 432 Rand divided by 12. Number pattern type 4. It's a constant, di constant difference with a fixed amount. Okay, so the number of copies made and the cost per Rand. Okay, so remember the formula was 1,500 plus 0,5 times n. So what did we do is we took n, we timed it by 0,5, and then we plused 1,500 rand to get the answer. And now we start with the answer. So first we're going to subtract 1,500. So we take 1,680 minus 1,500, and that gives us 180 rand. That gave us the 180 copies. Um, no, rand, sorry, rand. And then the opposite of multiplying with 50 cents or 0 0.5 rand is dividing by 0 0.5, and that gives us 360. So D is 360 copies. Okay, okay let's quickly go over it again. Okay, so the formula is 1,500 rand for the photocopier per month, remember from, from the previous video, plus uh, 0 0.5 times N. So we're working backwards. So we first have to minus 1,500, the fixed amount. Then we get the amount that we will pay per copy. So that would be um, 180, so the amount that we pay for the copies. And then we divide it by the price, and that gives us 360. Okay, so indirect proportion. A taxi company says it will cost uh, 2,200 Rand to take teachers to and from work daily. How much will it cost per teacher to travel to and from work by this taxi per month? Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, E, and then 12. So now the formula is 2,200 divided by 12. Remember that was a mistake. That was just copied from the previous one. So now the opposite of dividing is timesing. So if we take two. Uh, so then it's the amount of uh, the cost times the amount of people will give me 2,200 rand. 
okay and then so uh, we do the opposite again so then we take 2200 divided by the, the uh, cost per person and that gives me the amount of people okay so it's 2200 divided by 2200 is 1 2200 divided by 1100 is 2 then 2,200 divided by 734 is around about 3. So 2,200 divided by 367 gives me 5,999 and that is around about 6 people. Okay, and now you have to please do exercise A, Ooh, which is quite long, and uh, okay, and then dependent and independent variables. The independent variable are the input values that are on the top row of the table, and you will put it on a horizontal axis of the um, of the graph. Um, and the dependent variable are the output values, so the answer, the values that are on the bottom row of the table, and you plot this on the variable axis. For example, height can be dependent, um, uh, and then time is in the independent so height is dependent on time because time passes the height of the plant will increase if it's about a plant and its height and the next one continuous and discrete discrete variables are numbers that can only be whole numbers like number of people number of animals number of cars etc continuous um, can contain a decimal like weight rainfall measurements temperature money you can have five rand 72 okay so those will all be continuous um, we did dependent and Indian dependent variables with the previous video as well you could quickly just I, I mentioned it okay so then it's exercise B And then exercise C, exercise D, exercise E, exercise F. Right, so it's quite a lot of exercises, um, but some, some weeks you will have, you, there are more exercises and some weeks there are less. So in this week the exercises are quite long. Um, but good luck with that and uh, enjoy doing the rest of the of the week.